Hey guys, Brad here today from the OFAH Heritage Center. Today's lesson is all about one of North America's most common swamp residents, the muskrat. In today's lesson, we'll aim to answer three questions all about muskrats. How do we identify muskrats? Where do they live? And what do they eat? So stick around today as we explore all about muskrats. How do we identify muskrats? Muskrats are a member of the rodent family, which is fitting as they closely resemble a large rat that has adapted to aquatic conditions. Muskrats range in color from dark brown on the head and back to light gray or tan on the belly. Some muskrats may be tan, yellow, or silver in color, and occasionally we even find albino muskrats. Overall though, most muskrats are closer to that dark brown color range. Muskrats have a rounded body shape with a pointed head, small ears, which are hidden beneath their fur. The average adult weighs one kilogram and measures about 50 centimeters from nose to tail, which is about the length of a newborn baby. They have several specialized features fitting them for life in and around the water. First, muskrats have a vertically flattened tail, which works just like a paddle to propel them in the water. They also have valve-like flaps of skin to close off their nostrils, ears, and mouth for underwater feeding and traveling. Their feet are not webbed like those of the beaver or otter, but each hind foot has a fringe of special hairs which makes swimming easier for muskrats. Their tail is scaled for protection and much like their feet are fairly hairless. This feature helps them to regulate body temperature, especially in warm weather. Their front feet which are smaller than their hind feet, have large claws, and they use these claws for digging and manipulating their food, as well as building lodges, which we'll talk about later. They have four incisor teeth, two on each jaw, and they're about two centimeters long and used for snipping off vegetation. Much like the teeth of a beaver, their incisors grow continuously and they're worn down by chewing. Where do they live? Muskrats can be found throughout Ontario, and they're one of the widest ranging mammals in all of North America. They can be found in freshwater marshes, marshy areas of lakes, and in slow moving streams and rivers. The water they live in must be deep enough that it will not freeze through to the bottom in winter, but it also has to be shallow enough that plants can grow abundantly. This means they often live in areas where the water is one to two meters deep. They prefer to live in areas with good growth of bulrushes, cattails, pondweeds, and sedges. And this underwater plant growth supplies muskrats with food and building materials. When you are in muskrat habitat, you can see compact mounds of dried and dead plant material piled with mud they're often seen along the shoreline. These dead looking humps are muskrat lodges. Lodge building is an important part of being a muskrat. Building lodges allows them to live in areas surrounded by water and in some cases quite far away from land. Lodges protect them from predators and give them shelter from the weather. Muskrats build their lodges by heaping up plant material and mud to make a mound. Then they dig a burrow into the mound from underneath the water's surface, and then a chamber is opened up in the middle of the mound. After it's hollowed out, the walls of their lodge are made thicker and stronger with more plants and mud. In the winter, muskrats do something very interesting. They chew holes in the ice in bays and channels. This creates something we call push-ups. After a hole is chewed through the ice, plant material and mud are used to make a roof over the hole, making a miniature lodge. Usually, these only have enough room for one muskrat. 
These push-ups are used as resting places and spots to eat while they're swimming far away from their lodge. What do they eat? Muskrats are primarily herbivores. They most prefer cattails as their favorite food item, but they're also known to eat bulrush, horsetails, pondweeds, wild rice, and willows. In the winter, when the top layer of water around them becomes ice, they dive down and collect food mainly from underwater. If they're close to their lodge, they will bring the food back there. But if they're further away from the lodge, this is where their push-ups are necessary for them to stop and get a breath, rest, and squeeze in a quick meal. Muskrats are known to be able to hold their breath for up to 17 minutes underwater, which is an impressive feat. In very rare circumstances where plant food becomes scarce, muskrats can be known to switch their diets. In these rare emergency occasions, Muskrats have been known to eat fish, clams, and frogs, but this isn't a typical part of their diet. Now that we've learned a little bit about muskrats, next time you're around a swamp or a marsh, keep an eye out for their lodges. Perhaps you might even spot a muskrat in the wild. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and comment below. Don't forget to check out the resources section of our webpage. There, you'll find free printable resource material like mini lessons and activity pages to follow up the virtual lessons. And please subscribe to stay connected with us outside the classroom.